Hi, I'm Anna from Homebound Happy Hour, and today I'm making for you The Risk Pool by Phil Ward of Death & Company. If you are a bar nerd like me, you know that Death & Company is a very well-known bar um, and quite the coffee table book. So um, I wanted to pay homage to them by making this drink for you today. Uh, although they are like tend to have kind of more complicated cocktails, this one is very simple, so it's really easy to make at home. First of all, um, the recipe calls for 0.75 ounces of simple syrup per drink, which for me is a little bit much, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that in half. And again, I do make two drinks on Homebound Happy Hour, one for me and one for Andy. So I'm gonna do three quarter ounce of simple syrup into the tin. I just made this really quick at home. Uh, with some monk fruit, then it's going to get 0.5 ounces of grapefruit juice per drink. So that's a full ounce for two. The My favorite thing about this drink was, first of all, the color, which you'll see when I pour it. And then second of all, the fact that it specifically says no garnish, because we all know on Homebound Happy Hour, I'm not the biggest fan of garnish. So then the Lime juice is going to be a full ounce and a half, so that's 0.75 per drink. Then what kind of adds to the color here is going to be the creme de violet. The recipe calls for 0.25 ounces, so that's going to be 0.5 for the two. It's very purple. And like we've talked about with the maraschino before, investment pieces in your bar, this one will last you quite a while. Unless you like aviations a lot, which, you know, we actually do, so. All right, and then I'm gonna open our gin. I'm using San Miguel by Old Harbor, as I usually do when I do gin cocktails. And that's gonna be four ounces, so two ounces per. And this jigger is perfect for that just right to the top. And as always, I tend to do the spirits last just in case we make a mistake, we don't waste anything. This drink gets a double strain after we add our ice. Oops, dropped one. And then we shake that. The dilution on this one is important because of the color, so I'm just gonna keep going. That sounds pretty good. And then like I said, we're gonna double strain, and as it comes out, you'll see it's kind of silver, which is probably the most fun thing about it, and definitely why I chose it. I'm dying to use these glasses. These are from Collins and Coop, and I, I just, when I saw them, I had to have them. So this drink is just perfect for that. That's good. So once again, this is The Risk Pool by Phil Ward from Death & Company. Cheers.